Okay, we'll get started with uh, our local board of equalization hearings on our, we have uh, 15 or so uh, property tax objections and we'll get going right away with uh, Judy Limmer. If you could step up to the podium, Judy, and kind of have your couple minutes of fame and tell us your story. Punch the button. Perfect. Okay, well, we uh, purchased our home here on, on uh, July 15th, and um, I didn't really pull our papers on it today, but um, what I'm remembering back is we paid about uh, 312000 and uh, the evaluation came out, the assessed value, uh, 357800 and so we thought that's pretty high. So that's the reason I'm here today to see what we might be able to do about some of that. Purchase date was on July 12th, right? Um, 15th. July 15th, okay. Uh, what we'll do is we'll take each of these up after we go through them all. We have to have an indiv individual vote on each one and they'll uh, alert you tomorrow of what was decided. But a, a recent purchase is generally a pretty good. Typically what the, the board has done in the past, if there's been a recent purchase within the last 12 months and or an appraisal done, professional appraisal done within the last 12 months, the board has accepted those as uh, true and correct. If somebody's coming in that doesn't have evidence of a recent purchase or an appraisal, uh, we typically have passed those on to the county board. This is not the last step. If, if you're denied tonight, you can appeal the, this board's decision to the county board at... Uh, you have to file to the county with it, uh, by April 7th. You're in pretty good shape, yeah, so, so yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll let you know tomorrow yeah. Okay. in writing. Okay. The county uh, uh, has recommended uh, change, the purchase, uh, change it to the purchase price of 316 316 Yep. Okay. As it appears to be a good sale. Thank you for coming in, Judy. I'm going to ask you then to step out so we can, we got 15 more and we'll have, we'll just kind of, Noah's Ark thing here and okay. run them through. Appreciate it. Jared, you're up next. Um, I have a question quick. Whoops. I'm sorry. If we do choose to approve their appeal, do we set the value? Yeah. Yeah. We do. Okay. Yep. Typically what the, the board has done, the county recommends that you don't change the land value because <clears throat> that's based upon a formula that they use for everybody. So if you do want to change the assessed value to the appraised price or whatever documentation you make the change on the building value. Okay. You're up, Jared. All right. I'm Jared Tronis. I'm here to appeal for good sale. We purchased a home at 1416 South Parkview Boulevard on March 2nd of 2020 for $310,000. At closing at the title company, the uh, uh, old owner of the home said he got a little card from the county that said it was going to be a roughly $360,000 for proposed value the next year. So. Um, and I ended up talking to the assessor at county, and he said it was right around there and uh, to go through the process here to do good sales. So. Very good. Any questions, administration or whatever? No, same. Uh, count, same recommendation from the county is to it was a good sale, uh, recommending change the purchase price to three hundred ten. Very Thank good. You. Thanks, Jared. Thank you. Thank you. Next up, Snow Waters. Nope. You're uh, Van, Van Westens. Come on up. You're here. You're Come on up. Well, they probably have much better arguments than I do. I just don't agree with it, but I don't have all the appraisals and everything else that everyone else does. Um, I guess basically an 11% increase on our home that we bought uh, two years and 10 months ago, I just think is a little outrageous. Jenny Van Weston. Thank you. Um, we purchased our home for 528000 It's now appraised for 626000 We haven't done a single thing to it. Um, I guess I didn't realize we were supposed to have an appraisal and all that jazz, but um, I just don't understand why it would increase by that big of a percentage. Just this it, 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 last year increased to 563000 and now you're up to 626000 which is an 11% increase. Um, I just, I, I, I guess I don't, I don't really exactly know what you want, want me to all say. It's just. Very good. Uh, we'll so take these some... up after everybody's through. 
uh, we'll vote on each one, and this is not the final process. That there's another step that you can go to the Minneapolis uh, County Board too. Okay. So there's another step. Administration. Um, just so the board knows, and those that are present, and the county did notify us that across the city, uh, land went up eight percent, building went up eight percent. So it kind of averages out between that ten and twelve percent total value. Right. We'll vote on them all at the end of the meeting, and we'll, we'll let you know tomorrow how it turns out. Okay, thanks. Perfect, thank you. I'm kind of doing the Noah's Ark thing, so when you're done, if I can have the next person come in, that'd be great. Still okay. Wallers? How's it going tonight? Very good. I'm Tyler Stillwater and my wife Joni. We live at uh, 2004 West River Bluff Drive. Uh, we're here tonight to appeal our 2020 assessed value of $605,900, a 32.5% increase from 2019 as not uh, what we view as reflective of the market value of our house. This is a 32.5% increase on top of the 10% that we got last year. My wife spent about an hour plus at the equalization office last uh, Tuesday with Ryan, who was very professional uh, in her conversation with him. At the end of the conversation, going over all the information my wife had gathered, the information Ryan had, Ryan asked what we could live with stating or asking the question if we could live with a six, uh, or five hundred $540,000 assessment. My wife said we could live with it, but didn't believe we could sell our house for that. Ryan's comment was, let me see what I can do. Uh, the following day, last Wednesday, uh, he contacted my wife and said the best he could do was to take a 5% discount for overbuild off of our 2020 assessment and offer to lower our assessment to 575,600. Uh, after we uh, visited my wife and I, we decided to retain Alan Hall, a uh, state certified residential appraiser to perform a market value ass uh, appraisal on our property, a copy of which has been provided to you. Uh, in summary, uh, Mr. Hall found that the market value on our property was uh, 535,000. Uh, I would point out that one of the uh, how comps used in Al's report was a, a 2005 West, I mean River Bend, a two-story house, uh, five houses away from ours, um, that just sold here in February for $410,000. That house has 20, and it's a two-story, it has 2,714 feet above grade. Ours has uh, $2,823 above grade. Both of them have similar finishing uh, finishes on the inside of the house. I think in your appraisal, you can see pictures of both houses, and you can see the quality of the finishes on both. The only major difference between the two houses is our, our basement's finished, their basement isn't. We've got 903 square feet of finished basement in ours. Uh, a couple of the things I would point out for your consideration. Uh, Ryan repeatedly talked to my wife about a home on Thomas Circle, address of 1816, which sold in 2019 for $600,000. You know, and that was the comp he continually talked about. That's a house 10 years old, newer than ours. It's a house, uh, it's a ranch. Ours is a two story, and it has a pool in it. And Ryan's comment to my wife was, Well, we don't take pools into consideration in value, uh, in assessed values. And in, in the addendum in Mr. Hall's uh, uh, appraisal of our property, uh, he has a note in there, comparable three, has an in-ground pool. Because this is a high dollar executive home, I w it was confirmed that the, the pool was a factor in the sale of the property by the buyers. He called the uh, realtor and the realtor in fact made that comment to him. You know, the final thing I would uh, comment I would say also is Ryan also commented that part of the reason for the large increase in 2020 on our property was that we hadn't seen an increase several year, for several years after our reassessment in 2011. When asked how much the average increase during that time period had, should have been, 
he stated that the average increase over that time period was 3% annually. If you take our 2011 assessment and increase it by 3% annually, our 2020 uh, assessment of value would have been in the 528 range. We get it that values go up. Our problem is there's no way in God's green earth we can sell our house for $605,000 in our neighborhood. So uh, that's what I've got. I, one question for you, Tyler. Yep. Uh, you had this appraisal done specifically for this reason? Yep. Uh, and they, the certified appraiser had 535000 The only thing that bothered me on that, Tyler, yes. is on the top of the appraisal, the guy had a different date up there. He had a date back in 2011. He had previously done an appraisal for us the last time we went through this process. But it's a certified appraiser should get his dates right. Right. Uh, I, I apologize for that. I didn't. I did not catch that. He had done a previous appraisal on this property also in 2011. Yep. I have it with me. Yeah, she's got the prior appraisal I with you. If you, want I to would see like that. to see it. Yep. You had different where, where did you say that date? I see on the front page it's... Cover page of the appraisal. Oh, I see it. 395. Okay. Yeah, because on his front page, down at the bottom, he's question. got March 15th. That answers my question. Oh. Okay. Thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, we will let you know tomorrow. We'll vote at the end. Yep. And we'll, understand. We'll shuffle you, shuffle you through here. Thank you very much. Did Appreciate you see your your sign in our front yard? Kelly, yep. Kramer. Have a nice evening. Thanks, Alec. So, uh, Kristen sent over the. I sent information over to Kristen uh, earlier today. Kept it real simple. Looked at two comps that are in our neighborhood. My house is roughly uh, half a block from Tyler's. Um, so we live in the same neighborhood. Um, uh, I did attempt to get uh, two appraisers in there in the last two weeks, um, but because of everything that's going on, I couldn't get anybody in there. wasn't successful till mid-April. Uh, so, you know, that was uh, not what we wanted to see, but uh, um, the two properties that uh, I used for comparison um, were sold within the last year or within a block of us. Uh, so in the same neighborhood, comparable houses, you know, square footage wise finishes on the properties. I've been in both properties, uh, similar in age. Ours is a little bit older. Ours was built in 04. Uh, the one on Tyler Circle was built in 08. And uh, uh, so the recent recent sales on those. Um, so I'm, I get it, you know, for me to sell my property for $648,000, and I know you've heard this before. If I could get six hundred forty-eight thousand dollars for my property, I'd be uh, I'd be selling it and and then sell. So, but uh, understood. Uh, yeah. Uh, we earlier we did uh, say that uh, to the earlier we're not certified appraisers up here, so I want you to understand that. And there is another level mm -hmm. past this. We've been through this before. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we kind of just go no, on, on past precedents and on what we do and, and mm -hmm. stuff. So. If if you if in fact you, I don't I'm not saying you are going to get denied but if you do, you have another step to go. No, I understand. I'm, from right. what I understand, there's three steps. So, right. Right. Uh, and you know some I, of these first steps are formality. <laughs> no, I understand. And you know the, the the challenge that we have, and I did talk to Ryan also yesterday, just so you know. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, uh, and Ryan and I visit. The interesting thing is Ryan is basing his information on these two houses. So, and he also brought up the $600,000 house, which I believe to be a unicorn in our neighborhood. Right. You know, I mean, there hasn't been a house sell in our neighborhood uh, for $600,000. You know, I mean, that's the only house. And, uh, you know, so I think it's fair to, to compare them to, you know, more than just one, you know, mm -hmm. as somebody, an emotional purchase. I don't think that's fair. So, yeah, but I, uh, I totally get it. You know. And at the end of the day, you know, we're all about, I'm all about paying my fair share of taxes, but mm -hmm. I believe the assessed value is based on market, correct? Correct. Okay. Yeah. So. 
The only way you could be in a worse position, you could be me, who works for the school, I and is the mayor, so I can't, I don't even have a chance to get in your position. <laughs> no, <laughs> I understand. Yeah. Don't, don't uh, get me wrong. I mean, if right. if we were close, I wouldn't even waste right. my time to come it. in I here today. It. You know, but I appreciate I mean, that. You know, if we, were, if we were in the neighborhood, right. and mine different than some, mine has gradually been moving up, and it just got to a point where, okay, now we're, now we're up there. It's, you know, so, yeah, it's a little tough now. So I get it. Any questions? Board, administration? Thank you very All much. Right, no Kelly. problem. Thank you. Thank you. Michael. Well, welcome, board. I um, guess I'm here to try to get the um, mine down to the um, market value. Um, I guess in the last couple of years, I guess the last year, um, the assessed value went up in the 330s, which I thought was a bit high, but I didn't have time to come here. This year it jumped to 355, which is uh, unbelievable. <laughs> um, I guess what I uh, put together is what has sold in our in my neighborhood. These are similar houses with um, that all the houses in the neighborhood that have sold with um, four beds, three three or more baths. My house is four beds, three and a half baths. Um, I don't know if you, if you have a, what I originally sent with this. There's a comparison of, I believe, like eight houses in Snowberry, Birch, Liberty, that area in the Northeast. None of them have sold for more than 315000 So I... I know my house probably could sell for maybe 310. Maybe on a good day I might get lucky in 315, but I'm erring on the high head into that with the market now. It's probably even going to go lower. I'm just asking for it to be put at the market value of the highest in the neighborhood of 315. Very good. Um, Zillow, well, I guess our thing, I follow the market pretty well. I know what houses go for around here. Um, Zillow and their estimate has been pretty accurate for predicting them and um, I printed out what I don't know if it was included with your documents or not but uh, Zillow said 315806 okay so. <clears throat> so I guess I'll, all I'm asking is for it to be put at the market value very good appreciate it any questions from the board administration Good. Thanks, Mike. Thanks. David. Yes. <coughs> Your five minutes of fame are up. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Good evening. I'm Dave Jones. Uh, my house, 1505 Parkview Boulevard, and I don't know what was provided to you in the documents. Um, I went out and had a bunch of com comps done in our house. The facts that I have in my summary is that um, the value of my house has gone up $50,000 in the last two years, which is the largest two-year increase in the history of my house. Um, the last time that it was that high uh, was the last time that I came in and had to do this, which was, I believe, in 2012. Um, several comps, all with similar square footage, various years, all over town, very uh, close to the same bedroom, bath, and garage. Um, and I have variances anywhere from $25,000 under my house to $66,000 under the value of my house. Um, uh, if I was to list my house, I'd probably try to list it at four and a quarter, hoping to get four ten, four oh five. Um, but uh, I just, like, like I said, I just went out and did comps on it, and not just looking in my neighborhood. I understand Park View being that I'm against the park gives me a little bit more. I'm not expecting 385 on my house for a similar. I'm just not expecting that. I'm being realistic. Right. Yep, all your information was in the packet, so okay. yep, we got it all. Uh, any questions from the board or any? I don't know if you were here. Uh, this is the first of several steps in the yep. whole process and stuff, so whether it's approved or denied at this level, there's always more levels to go. We're the we're the weakest link in this whole this whole process. Yeah. Please understand. Understood. Pre-screening. I appreciate you taking the time to come in and. Uh
talk to us. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm guessing Darren and Kat, Carrie Roberts? No. No. We're, we're early. Okay. Who are you? Kohler. Come on up. Kevin and Nancy Kohler. Kevin and Nancy Kohler. Come on up. Ready, set, go. You're on. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're at 1613 Parkview. Um, I want to uh, start out by telling you that I had a lengthy conversation, a couple of them, with Ryan from the Equalization Office. Very nice guy, very patient, explained everything, uh, couldn't have been more helpful. Um, I still think they're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> No matter they, how nice he was, he's yeah, just yeah, wrong. He's yeah. just wrong. That's all there is to it. So the nice approach didn't work for him. No, <laughs> for us either. <laughs> um, they assessed our property at 589.9. Uh, that's a 20.9% increase over last year. And Ryan also told me that the 589.9 is with a 15% discount. So if you add another 15% on, that would put the value of our home at 663. That's crazy, totally crazy. We had an increase in 2019 of 25,000. The increase we had this year was 102,000. So that's $127,000 in two years. To be clear, we had seven years where we didn't have an increase at all. So when the 25,000 one came in 19, I thought, well, okay, that will make up for those seven years. But then when the 102 came this year, I'm too old for this kind of heart palpitation, you know? Um, if you take the 127 two that it rose the last two years, and you split that up between the, the years that we didn't have any, increase, it still comes out to over $18,000 a year for all of those years. So the comps, I, I brought them down. I think you probably have copies of them. Two of the comps are right on our street. One's about a block away. The other one is um, not next door, but the house next to that. Um, the above, above grade cost per square foot for our house, as it's assessed, is 216. I'm going to drop the cents. It's 216. The two comps on my street come in at 180 and 176. So that's quite a difference. Uh, there's two other comps that I threw in there, one from Country Club Heights and one in the Bluffs. The one in Country Club Heights is substantially larger than ours by about 1,200 square feet. And the assessed value there um, is 887 per square foot. Ours is 141. So that alone is quite a difference. And the above grade square foot cost is also different. Theirs at 118, ours at 216. So almost $100 difference. The house in the Bluffs had a total square foot finished cost at 129. Again, ours was 140. The above grade cost, <coughs> excuse me, at the Bluffs was 200. Ours is 216. Um, I'm proposing an assessed value of 492, 721. And I got this value using the two comps that are on my street because they're so similar. Size, finished square feet, above grade square feet, amenities, they're all very, very similar. So that amended assessed value that I propose of 492.721 is a 1% increase over last year, which would be within the normal percentage that you would expect to see. Um, last, I just want to kind of sum up, I worked for the clerk's office in federal court for 34 years. And in 34 years, I cannot tell you how many times I heard the phrase fair and reasonable. This is not fair, and this is not reasonable. Um, Kevin and I have lived in the Brandon Valley School District for our whole married life. I grew up here. 
I went to school here. I graduated from here. My brothers graduated from here. Their kids graduated from here. My son graduated from here. This is home to us. We're proud. We brag about it. I love the fact that we're the number one public school in the state and have been for a few years. Um, I want to see that continue. I don't mind paying my taxes. But I want, again, I want them to be fair and reasonable. Question from council administration. Thank you so much for thank you. Your case. Yep. We will let you know uh, in writing tomorrow. We'll send out notice, and this is not the final step. This is the first step in a right. three-step process. So whatever Cousin happens, somewhere. don't be discouraged. All right, no problem. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Appreciate it. I bet you're Mr. Flint. I'm right. Yep. These are my neighbors. <clears throat> You guys ready for me? I'm guessing you have a similar... Uh, the case is very similar. Nancy stated it pretty well. I didn't work 34 years at the clerk of courts, but <laughs> she's, she's right with fair and reasonable. I would agree with that. Michael and Jill Flint. Absolutely. Go ahead. Uh, so I live next door at 1609 South Parkview. Uh, my wife and I purchased our home in April of 2014 for $417,500. Um, we didn't see an increase. You can probably see the card. I've looked in the packet. We didn't see a huge increase for a couple of years. Then two years ago, we saw a huge jump as they had stripped out the board value. And uh, I went down and talked to the county. They actually made the recommendation to the county last time, two years ago, to adjust it to 438000 That was their recommendation. And so I didn't actually have to do any of this. So two years ago, they had it listed at four thirty-eight. dollars um, Then last year, like the Kohlers, basically, we received about a $25,000 increase. Again, I kind of said, well, you know, home values are up. I'm, I'm okay with paying my fair share, and my wife's a teacher in the school district, so I, I, in the same boat. Like, I want to have a good school. I want to be in a good community. But uh, this year when I got my notice, it was up about $110,000 from what it was last year, which is a pretty stout increase. Um, so I actually, working in banking, basically I have access to all the residential home sales in, in, the, in the MLS information so you'll see the sheet that I provided there to you basically what I pulled is I had uh, any home sales in the Brandon zip code 57005 that were in excess of 400,000 to 1 million dollars um, I knocked out one that was a 40 acre parcel in town but I, I got rid of that because it wasn't really a comparable outside of that that's 2018 2019 sales data you can see that there were a total of 13 sales that were over four hundred thousand dollars three of those were on our street within a few houses of where we live um, I did put two other uh, kind of interesting ones at the bottom of the page. There was a house uh, that was a foreclosure that was on the market for 308 days that sold for $295,000. It was a comparable size to my house. I also included the Gullickson's house, which is north of mine, which is about 500 square feet bigger on the main level that sold for $400,000 in uh, September of 2016. So you can see there as far as comparable sales go on, uh, on my street, they were 462, 470, 430, which is the one Nancy and Kevin mentioned was one house away from theirs and then the 295 and the 400 so I, I propose that uh, you know basically my value be 470,000 um, I also put a chart down there 1% increase um, even giving myself an increase the year that I bought it saying that six months after I bought it it went up one two and three percent on my chart basically a 1% increase for the last six years that I've lived there before 43 2% increase which is pretty normal according to one to two percent that's 470 a 3% increase is 498 is what the value would come back at. Uh, one interest, well, two interesting things I would say is the the county. When I talked to the deputy, obviously he's not here tonight. I'm sure for some of the reasons that's going on in the country, but um, he had said that we actually are receiving a discount of 15 percent on our structure for overbuilt. So that would say that my house is actually worth 653 thousand dollars in the county's eyes. Uh, uh, just like the Kohlers, I don't see it. Those houses don't sell in Brandon. We don't have any comparables. What they said the issue was is they haven't stripped apart Brandon into different parcels that were being compared to uh, all of the home sales in Brandon and not just the home sales in our area. So what's happening is Brandon has a lot of two hundred to three hundred thousand dollar houses. Those price per square foot are higher than what they are in bigger square footage homes. So they said, I mean, that I asked the deputy specifically, if you're here, I expect you to step up and say that my value is wrong. And he said he would. He just said he couldn't adjust it for me that I had to go through the process. Right. So they understand there's an issue, but like I said, we do have to go through the process. So I get that. And as I stated earlier, you probably wonder, this is step one of the process. Yep. Uh, yep. 
and we just formality. We got to go through the whole process. So I appreciate all the the stuff you did here. It was very yeah, detailed. Yeah, hopefully the data helps. I'm a numbers guy, so that's the world I live in. <laughs> and you're a banker, so you got plenty of time to do it. Right? Uh, <laughs> not, not lately. Not lately. I'll tell you that it's been it's been stressful at the office. I bet. I bet. Thank you very yeah, much. Thank you. We appreciate it. Yep. Right. Hello. Yep. Okay. And you are? Darren Roberts. How's everybody doing? Very good. Doing well. Um, I guess the reason why I'm here sounds like similar reason why other people are here. Uh, so I'm at 204 North Pass Flower Trail, and uh, we had a recent, we recently refinanced, and so I've got an appraisal for what the appraised value is. Our assessed value this year is $432,500, up about 7.5% from the previous year. Uh, the appraised value is $365,000. And so I guess what I'm here tonight is to request that you back that back down to the 365. I talked to uh, the deputy director of equalization at the county, Kyle Sex. Kyle Sexy, either way that's an unfortunate name. Uh, and he basically said at the county level they couldn't really do anything, uh, which was kind of funny because I visited with uh, Ms. Smith um, before going there and you basically said that they would have to change it at the county level, but he sent me back here and said we'd have to handle it at the local level. So it's a process. Yes. Yep. So. Government at its best. <laughs> yep. Uh, thank you very much. Any questions from the council administration? Appreciate the information you gave us. Uh, okay. Take it under consideration. Let you know tomorrow. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Do, you, do I need to leave a copy of the uh, appraisal? We got We've got it. Got it. You do. It's, okay. it's it all in our packet, though. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Very nice, Mr. Dahl. Ty Dahl, page two, item one. Hello. Hello. Hoping we could talk a little bit about the new valuation on my property at 909 South Fifth Avenue. We're 683-400. Over the last three years, we've gone from 574, 625. Now we're at 683, and that uh, is just not based in what is reality in today's Brandon real estate market. I went out, uh, do have the benefit of having access to MLS. We do have one comparable sale. It is uh, 1816 West Thomas Circle. The houses are similar age. They're similar size. This uh, property uh, had about 100 square feet more on the main floor than mine did, but I'm about 600 larger in the lower level. So at 162 bucks per finished square foot, the house I'm comparing mine to sold for 600. I had asked to uh, stay at 625, but I would accept 655, because if we were talking an apples to apples comparison, that uh, would be a realistic value based on previous sales. And quite frankly, there's nothing that's gone on in my house uh, over the last 12 months to increase in value like that other than now it sits on an active railroad line. Pretty similar story all the way down the line, Ty. Yep. Uh, seems like the county uh, has some new software, new people, and things went up substantially. That's all I can say. And we're, we're step one in the whole process here at the, at the city level, so got to go through the process and and uh, see where we end up but uh, like I've told everybody this is not the end of the process yeah. you know that oh uh, yeah. you know you know the hoops 
that have to be jumped through. So any questions from the council? No. no. Administration? No. Appreciate you pleading your case and stepping up, Ty. Thank Thanks. You. And any other people uh, make it going to go around? Uh, that is all that I know that are coming. So all that. See ya. That's it? Yep. Yeah. So we can start at number one and. Okay. Hmm. We need to discuss and do make motions. Uh, motions on each, each individual one. one. Okay. That's it. That's common that I know of, Chief. Okay. Thank you. Item A, uh, Don and Judy Limmer. That was, uh, they had a recent assessment. Sale. Or sale, I'm sorry, recent purchase on July 12, 2019. I think that's one of our Acceptable criteria. Yep, yep, that's an easy one. So no. I'd entertain a motion to approve. Yeah, what, the, yeah, what uh, you know, they're asking for 316. The county approved or recommended 316. So the land value would be 49,600, which is the same value the county currently has on the land. That would put the building value at 266,400. Yeah, motion for that. So, Second. So the total value is 316. Correct. Yep. Okay. Any other questions? Motion and second to approve the value at 316,000. All in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. B is Jared Taroni's. Uh, once again, was a recent purchase of March 2nd, 2020. Uh, asking for an evaluation of 310,000 total. The land value would be 32,700. Building value, 277,300. Motion? I'll move. Motion a second to approve based on the re recent purchase of that property at, to assess at a total value of 310000 All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Tyler and Joni Stowater uh, had a uh, appraisal of 535000 dated uh, March 15th of 2020. The appraisal that with the wrong date on it. Like I just screwed up. It was three ninety five, so I was satisfied that it wasn't a yep. doofus thing. Uh, that is also one of our criteria. Yep. Recent appraisal. Correct. If I can have a motion to approve at five thirty five. And the land land would be fifty seven thousand six hundred. Uh, building at four seventy seven four hundred. So moved. Second. Motion a second to approve uh, a total value of five hundred and thirty five thousand. Tyler and Joni Stowater. Any other questions? All in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Scott and Jennifer Van Weston. Uh, my notes said that their appraisal was dated back in 2017, so it's a little old for us, correct? Correct. Right. Yeah. Uh, Yeah, that's you know appraisals that are appraisals that are done within the last twelve months we consider valid. Uh, Seventeen, you know, if you look at uh, sales price this year or, or the value increase for this year was eight percent building, eight percent land, which comes out to be about a ten or twelve percent increase over last year. So, you know, a lot of people come in and say one percent, two percent, three percent valuations are going up more than three percent a year here at Brandon. And, it's kind of tough to go back two years and apply three percent a year, so that'd be a six percent. That doesn't even that doesn't even match the current increase for this year. And just for clarity, when they first reached out to us, we tell them that historically what we need is an appraisal within the last year to make changes on our level. Yeah, I mean historically, I I'm trying to remember this one in particular, but. Um, you know, I ask them if they have a recent purchase or appraisal, and sometimes they'll say no, and um, I do my best to, some don't want to hear it, you know, that that's what the local level does. I do encourage them to talk to the county and work something out with the county. Um, 
because even any board values that we do here today, they're only good for one year. That's it. And then they, well, they're supposed to drop. There are a couple that will go through that were missed at the county level, but board values are good for one year. So I do encourage them to work with the county or call the county and ask them questions on their home and, and what they have it um, graded at. And there's all kinds of criteria that the appraisers do. So I do encourage them to do that as well. Seems like, I mean, there's a few in here, I mean, $100,000 increase in too many years. It seems like the county will be I mean, I would guess, like, we don't have what we need to authorize a change. I mean, we don't. That's just after good. those first three, I don't know that we have anything other than what the data that they gathered. And that's, I could grab a second vote on each one of them individually, but as far as I can tell, there's. There's one more phrase. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 That's, that's the difficulty with people coming in, and a lot of people go through a lot of work to compile that off of Zillow or comps, sure. but that's we don't know the finishes in the house. We don't know, you know, if, if the basement's finished or not. You know, you look at some of these, there's one in particular, it's a brick house with a two-car or three-car garage, and they're comparing it to a, a non-brick house with a two-car garage. All of those things come into play, and we don't have that data. Yes. Nor do we have the knowledge. No, not really. no we don't have we don't the knowledge. To go beyond what we're allowed really to correct. And if they didn't have an appeal, so to speak, beyond this level, then that'd be more difficult for us to have an appeal. Yes. Right? Correct. I mean, not only do they have an appeal, but they have time to potentially get they um, do. what they should yeah. have. You know, they get another three weeks if they can yeah. get something higher than that time yeah. to do it. That, that they, yeah, they've got uh, the... They're at really four weeks because they, they just have to file a written notice by April 7th and then their meetings don't start until April 14th. Okay. So they almost really have four, but... So based on our criteria, I'd entertain a motion to deny uh, the Scott and Jennifer Van Weston. Uh, second. Motion and second to deny the uh, re uh, reassessment on their Scott and Jennifer Van Weston's property. Any questions? All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Kelly and Kathy Kramer, I think it's probably the same situation. Yep. Can I have a motion? So moved. To deny. Yeah. Correct? Motion to, to deny. deny. Motion yeah. to deny. Sorry. Motion and a second to deny. Kelly and Kathy Kramer, any questions? All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. <clears throat> Michael and Wendy Kessler, uh, my notes show that all they had for information was Zillow type. Uh, yeah, and I would add that the I talked to the county today, and these guys have been one that they've been on a board value since 2014. So they've been, it's one of those that were, was missed at the county, and that board value didn't get taken off. So they've been on it for five years. So their value's been frozen at the 2014 value instead of giving the annual increases. Based on that, it would, I would assume that it would be a request for a motion to, to deny. Correct. Well, so, sorry. Motion and a second to uh, deny Michael and Wendy Kessler's application. All in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. David and Stacy Jones, similar instances there. He had a lot of good backup, but mm -hmm. Just not in our shoes, I guess. It's, I'd entertain a motion to deny. So moved. Second. Motion and a second to deny. David and Stacey Jones, all in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Darren and Kerry Roberts, we had an appraisal. My notes say 1228. Is that accurate? Correct. Certified appraisal. I see that. So. 51,000 for the land. 314 for the building, so a total of 365. Motion to approve that. Motion and a second to approve uh, Darren and Kerry Roberts' assessment at 365 total. Any other questions? All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Ty Dahl. Uh, just, I don't think we have the stuff that we 
normally use this criteria, so I'd entertain a deny motion. So I'll move. Second. Motion and second to deny. Any questions? All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Just so you know, guys, I'll I'll take that phone call for you to, from for all of you tomorrow when okay, I get okay, that appreciate one. That. Appreciate that. I got it. Just you guys relax. I I'll take care of it for you. Well, in all these high valued house, six hundred thousand dollar houses, when the city went up across the board went up ten percent, that's sixty thousand dollars know, on that house. So yeah. that's where they're seeing it too. But there is a, a top level too. I, I, I get yeah. it. I mean six eighty three and yeah. I haven't seen it, but no, what, what the county's planning on doing, I think somebody touched on it, he's gonna, they're going to break the city up into 10 neighborhoods, yeah. which will make it more comparable. Yeah, I get it. Uh, Christopher Lila? Mm -hmm. Anything, I, I didn't have any notes on that one. Um, Just, we have not enough worked a little bit with the county and the county is they have there on page 97 um, that appears to be a good sale um, and then change yeah. it to 353 per the the letter that would make land at 42,300 and building at 310 700 I have a motion second motion and second to approve at a total of 353 for Christopher Lila any questions all in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Greg and Vicki Van Hall. Um, they were un unable to make it. Um, elderly, I did offer a call, um, talked to them a little about, about it. Kind of did tell them that we're not sure that we can do much at the local level, but um, he was considering also doing appraisal in between the local level and the, uh, the county board. So I said, well, this is your first step. We'll most likely deny, but that gives you time to get that appraisal, so. Very good, can I have that motion? So moved. Second. Motion and second to de de deny on Greg and Vicki Van Hall. Any questions? All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Kevin and Nancy Kohler. Um, this is another one that had a board value since um, 2011 actually so they had a board value on there for 70 years that was missed at the county level so that's unfortunately why she's seeing some increases there I would recommend deny because both of the, this one and the next one 100, 212,000 I mean I, I just see it I mean it's nothing we can do about it because it's not at our level they haven't given us anything that we can use to change but you look at that number of those are pretty tough jumps. Motion and second to deny on Kevin and Nancy Kohler. Any other questions? All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Similar with Michael and Jill Flint, I assume. Very similar story. I guess we'd have a move to deny. Second. Motion and second to deny. Uh, any further questions? All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. The next four are commercial. Um, I did talk to Costello. Um, this is unfortunately the first step. They usually work more with the county than they do the local level. So um, the next four you can breeze through and make motions to deny on those. I did take that call too. Oh, <laughs> well, he's fine with the local. Yeah. Motion to deny those four. Can we do them individually? Historically, we've done them individually. Just that we don't do that, right? Okay, let's, let's take the Split Rock Limited Partnership at 1100 East Tequit. Motion to deny. Second. Motion a second to deny 1100 East Tequit Street, Split Rock Limited Partnership. All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Redwood Court Limited Partnership, 1200 East Keystone. I entertain a motion to deny. 
Motion is second to deny. Any questions? All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. 1209 East Keystone. Motion is second to deny 1209 East Keystone, Brandon Heights 2 Limited. All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. 1201 East Keystone Place, Brandon Heights Limited. Entertain a motion to deny. So moved. Motion is second to deny. Any questions? All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Okay. The next one on page 148 are the landowners that have come to an agreement with the county. So this is the county assessors recommended for change for these parcels. You can do this as one motion. County assessors recommendation. What's going on? Um, for instance, Kyle and Mandy Creech came in. They filled out a PT17 form. They were going. They brought in an appraisal as well. Um, they, you know, I was, I encouraged them to really talk with the county, um, just because theirs was their difference that was high, and setting the board value is going to be good for one year. If they could work with the county on an agreement, then the the county can set that permanently, and then their increases will permanently come off of what this county is is recommending. So they've met. They've met with the county. Oh, they've come to a resolution, and they, yes. so we're yep. just endorsing that yep. decision. We're, in, we're endorsing that decision. Right, right. endorsing all of that. Yep. yep. I entertain a motion to approve. Yes. Second. A second. Motion and a second to approve uh, all listed under 3R. Any questions from anyone? All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you very much. Motion to adjourn. Motion and a second to adjourn. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you very much. The process went well. Thank you for.